Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> it's your girl. <laughs> she on the trail. Praise the Lord. This is a day that the Lord has made. Done done a couple rounds too. Had my worship at the house and on the trail. I tell you the weather's so beautiful and I just love it. Hallelujah. Where my walkers at? Y'all out here? <laughs> we out here. Come on. <laughs> Got a lot of company out here today too, y'all. But the weather is gorgeous. And uh, y'all get on out here. It's going to make you feel good, make you look good, make you act good. <laughs> Glory be to God. It's going to be your natural pill for the day. How about that? Taking care of yourself, you know, will change your attitude. Taking care of yourself will just make you treat people nice. You know, when you take care of yourself, you won't be so grumpy with, <laughs> with your neighbor. <laughs> and uh, people don't realize that self-care has a lot to do with our personality, has a lot to do with our attitude, has a lot to do with how we handle things. How about that? All right, that's your tip for today. <laughs> but anyway, it's a great morning. It's a great day. And uh, like I said, I, I done hit a couple rounds. I just, you know, a lot of people on the trail, they ain't gonna be walking by them. They thought something was wrong with me. But anyway, but I got some good information on the trail. You know, when you're on the trail, I passed a young lady and she began to tell me about some medical stuff. You know, I hear medical stuff. I, get excited because I like to know and then I know how to respond when I <laughs> go places okay knowledge is power and uh, it was awesome because uh, it was like it's amazing because the stuff that she shared is uh, some you know stuff like you be praying about you know so so I thank God I'm gonna go share that all right y'all so God is good he's good all the time and all the time he is good. Let's talk about freedom. Are you free today? Hallelujah. We talk about slavery all the time and, and how they were free. And, you know, we talk about our ancestors and how they became free. And, but how about you? Are you free today? What is freedom? Glory to God. And God said, whom the sun set free is free indeed. What, what is he saying? Uh, are you free? Uh, God, uh, he brought the people out of uh, Egypt and uh, they was able to cross over on dry land there was a river right there before them the Red Sea and Moses was leading them and uh, Moses got to a point and uh, he didn't know what to do because he had the Pharaoh's army behind him he had the Red Sea in front of him and Moses came to a point where God spoke he had to use what he had ha! what's in your hand Oh, God, it's a rod. God, throw it down. Ha, <laughs> glory to God. Pick it back up. So he let him know that he had something <laughs> that could part it, <laughs> and it was in his hand. And God, all God did was spoke. Hallelujah. And Moses stretched. Ha, <laughs> glory to God. Y'all get that? Ooh, that just dropped in my spirit. Hallelujah. God spoke, and Moses stretched. What is he saying to us today? God is speaking. We got to stretch. We got to stretch our faith. We got to believe it's already done. He did not go to the cross in vain. Believe. God has spoken. Now stretch. Stretch your faith. Glory to God. And see the manifestation of God. So they were free. And the river went up like walls. They crossed on dry land. They didn't, they didn't cross through no mud. They, they didn't bog down. You know, you looked at a whole ocean of water just imagine that and you walked across to the other side <laughs> you didn't swim uh, you didn't wade you you the words say they walked over there it was on dry land and when the last one got crossed ha there was that big army still coming after them and when the last one got crossed then those walls water walls they turned back into the ocean and everybody behind them drowned. Isn't that something? That is miraculous. But he led them out. So the Pharaoh's army that was behind them all that time, right at the point where they thought they captured them, <laughs> they got drowned. Okay? So, but the ones that got on to the other side, they were scared before they crossed. <laughs> glory to God. But they was glad to see the sea part. And then when they got to the other side, they became ungrateful. Lord Jesus. 
when God does something in your life, when he part your Red Sea, don't get to the other side and become ungrateful. Don't get to the other side and start treating people bad. Don't get to the other side and try to be unthankful, mean and evil. No. He brought you over. He brought you through it. Glory to God. You made him all those promises. Lord, if you hear my body, <laughs> I live for you. You know, when we get scared and we do uh, get caught like that, we make God all kind of promises. Lord, if you hear my body, I promise I'll serve you. Lord, if you get me out of this, I'll, I'll go ahead and get married and stop living in sin. <laughs> oh, you shackers. Oh, just drop that one in there too. Lord, if you just help me stop smoking, I'll never touch a cigarette again. <laughs> now you got some harder stuff. Lord, if you just help my family, help my way with children, I promise you I'll give them to God. <laughs> you join them at the club. What? So, we make all kind of promises, and we don't fulfill none of them, but I know somebody who's a promise keeper. When God make you a promise, it comes to pass. It is so. Hallelujah, according to the word of God. So, what is freedom? Where does it start? It starts in your mind. You could be in a situation. You could be boxed in and, and still be free. You know, you hear talk of people that incarcerated and, and they come out and they, and, and they tell you their testimonies. And while I was in there paying for my crime, <laughs> I, I was teaching and I was preaching and souls were coming to Christ and they were free. The, they just had a cage around, but they were free. When Paul got to Rome, <laughs> he arrived, Paul arrived in chains, but he was a free man. Hallelujah. Got more attention than he had <laughs> when he was on the ship. Because on the ship, they beat him up, snake bit, stripped his clothes, all kind of stuff. And he wanted a fair trial. So, yeah, I want to be tried by Caesar. And uh, he arrived in chains. So they had to guard him. They didn't want him to get away. But he was still preaching. <laughs> I'm just longing to, to get where y'all are. So he had a word. And he continued to preach the gospel, even in chains. And he was still able to reach the people. So, we have to be free, y'all, first in our mind. Get rid of some of that stuff that you got on your mind that you know you can't handle. Get rid of some of that stuff that you ain't got no business with you with your hands in no way. You know, get rid of that stuff. Get out of folk business. All this has to do with you being free. You, you, you're bound because uh, you got everybody else's problem. <laughs> you're not the one that God said, cast your care upon me for I care for you. You cast your cares on human beings, they ain't going to leave yourself a uh, behind okay and uh you're gonna be lost i'm gonna tell you right now but cast your care upon jesus because he said i care for you you want to be free you gotta lose somebody I don't know what say. glory to god you got too many toxic friends and too many toxic people around you you want to hang around because uh you know you want to act like them and you don't know what kind of story they got going on you want to be free? You got to lose them. Glory to God. Some people you got to lose them even though you love them. <laughs> because they hinder where you're going. They hinder where God is trying to take you. And you got to lose them so they can go where they need to go. And you go where you need to go. There are some people you cannot help, but you can pray for them. You can pray. We can pray. Yes, dear and far. I was on the trail and the lady was telling me as she was talking. And she said, pray for my mom. She in the hospital and she's in isolation <laughs> i start praying for her on the trail <laughs> you know i get home i might not remember her, her name i might not remember her story uh but we can go to god and pray i can't get to where her mom is but i can pray right here on that trail <laughs> and god is already there glory to god hallelujah so we got to be about our father's business and uh we sing the song <laughs> i am free no longer bound, no more chains holding me. Praise the Lord. My soul is resting. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And thank God I'm free. <laughs> is your soul resting? Why are you still all stressed out? Glory to God. If you say you're no longer bound, why don't you act like you're free? Instead of acting like you're bound still. So sometimes what we say just does not line up with how we act. You know, faith without works is dead. You believe God, 
Act like you believe it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can't lay down in the bed and say, I want to get up. <laughs> and what's stopping you from getting up? Put that one foot on the floor. Put the other one on the floor. And before you know it, you're walking. Before you know it, you're running. We just got to move, y'all. We got to move with what we say. Amen. So, be free today. God wants you to be free. If he said, I made you free. And when God makes you free, if you choose to go back into Egypt, from whence God has brought you, it's on you and not God. Because God answered your prayer. He done what you asked him and everything. So, go for Press. It's a press. Press toward the mark for the prize of the higher calling, which is in Christ Jesus. It's a press to get up, walk this trail, because your body be like, not today. <laughs> but the press say, press on. Ah, I'm out here. I'm out here. The, the, the press inside of me is what makes me get up and go and get up and do. It can't be based on your body going to always say, no, nah, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Nah, press. Press through. Press. There's a blessing in your pressing. And uh, see, I wouldn't have gotten what I gotten if I hadn't came out today. When you press, got to here make the temperatures right where you need them. Hi, glory to God. It's so nice out here. And just looking at God's nature and trees and people out here mowing the lawn and manicuring, making sure everything look nice. That's what God, he wants us to do the same thing to our body. Get up. Take care of your personal hygiene. Come out smiling. Glory to God. Fix your hair. Okay, if you got time. <laughs> but uh, that's what he wants. Feel good about yourself. Okay, and uh, that's your booster. Feel good about yourself. You are free today. Decree it, declare it. It is so. I am free in my mind. I am free in my body. I'm free in my spirit. Glory to God. There are no chains holding me. <laughs> my soul is at rest. And I praise God. And I say, Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm free today. <laughs> Y'all come on here and walk with me in this freedom. Amen. All right, I'm going to get on around the trail. I'm so proud of myself. I haven't done quite a few laps without knowing why I cuss them free. Hallelujah. So, y'all be blessed. And I'm telling y'all, this right here, right here, it's Friday, y'all. It's, it's Freedom Friday. Freedom Friday. FF Day. Freedom Friday. And uh, I want y'all to know, it's the best Freedom Friday I will ever have today. Y'all better catch it.